So here I have Bioshock, uh, same resolution 1360 by 768 uh, so the graphics quality medium, I tried setting it higher, I could play it but uh, the performance was too near 25 FPS and anything less than that I tend to think it's not uh, very much playable. So I set it to medium and I'm gonna give you guys a look at how it plays on 25 uh, on the medium setting. So here's another game, this is the Tom Clancy's Hawks, uh, I've set it at same resolution, 1360 by 768 V-Sync is off, anti-aliasing is off, and it's running in DirectX 9 mode, and I've set most of the options to medium, and uh, everything else is high. So let's take a look at how this game performs on this video card.
Hey guys, so let's take a look at the GPU decoding uh, like capabilities of this video card. So that means that we'll be decoding the high definition 1080p video using this video card. Yeah, uh, Flash 10.1 includes such features. So if you don't have Flash 10.1, upgrade to Flash 10.1 because it will use your video card to decode the video and it will provide pretty smooth videos without any dropped frames so here I have the video open up in Internet Explorer this is the Toy Story 3 trailer and it's in 1080p playing on YouTube and I also have the video info dialog open to show you that it doesn't drop many frames it might not even drop any so let's take a look at how good it plays As you can see up in the dialog box up over here on YouTube it hasn't dropped anything to now so that means it, it, the video card is pretty good at decoding this video and you can see it tries to maintain a constant 23.9 and 24 fps which is what the video is being to play it at so no jerks no motions So do not drop any frames, pretty good performance, very good performance. And here you can see the GPU usage, then GPU Z and MSI Afterburner, so I'm just going to zoom in on MSI Afterburner. Let's see, used about 30% of the GPU to decode that video. And same here in and same here in GPU-Z, GPU load around 30%.